What's up guys, Jason Wardrop here. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to market your small business with little to no budget. Now, if you're a small business, a lot of times you don't really have a big marketing budget to go through and spend on advertising with Facebook, on Instagram, on Google advertising, and you, you wanna go through and focus your advertising budget and your marketing efforts on things that are gonna give you the biggest return on your investment, right? So I just wanna go through, break this down really quick and show you guys the things that I would do the things that I've already experienced work amazingly well and how you can go through and implement them into your business, right? So first and foremost, what you wanna do is go through and get a customer file of any past customers that you have in your business or just a network of people that could be potential clients. So this could be from LinkedIn, this could be from you know your phone book, this could be from an existing database at work, it could be from a number of different things. Now, this is just an example but you can see right here, there's actually a few email columns, but this is just demo, um, a demo file that I downloaded from Facebook. But you can see we've got their emails, we've got a few different emails, we've got their phone numbers, we've got, I don't know what that is, so there, I, some user ID for Facebook looks like, first name, last name, zip code, um, the, the city it looks like, state, country. So you can see we've got all of this information, right? Date of birth, date of birth year, gender, all that stuff. So what we wanna do here now, is we want to take initially the emails and like guys you don't need all of this information the key things that I would say are one the email address and honestly that's probably all you really need to know like right now is just having someone's email address right the phone number is great first name's great but they're not necessities okay so what we're gonna do first is we would take these emails and then the first thing that we would do is go through and upload them into your CRM so you can go through and communicate them through email marketing, right? So what we're gonna do, um, I use the Arsenal MKG CRM, so all I would do is come over here to this lead section, I would go and um, import my leads, or you can easily sync with all your Gmail contacts, so that makes it super nice and easy, or import the leads, and you can see them all flowing in right here. Now, the reason why we wanna do this is because then, once we go through and we blast out an email, so like for example, let's say like Dwayne right here, okay, we blast out an email, we can see the history of that email with with Dwayne okay so you can see like okay the email was delivered he opened up the email he's showing what email was opened if he if there's a link in the email they will show if it'll click on the link on the link or all that stuff so um, that's some valuable information that you want to know so now what I like to do typically with um, sending out my first email is I send out a very simple basic email which it just says then the subject line says quick questions so I'll just show you guys I'll just type this out really quick we'll come over here to emails and we'll hit create email and we're just gonna say quick question, right? So very simple, but it gets a very high like open rate of people actually clicking and opening these emails. And then all I'm gonna say is, are you still interested in blank? Okay, so are you still interested in, for like my business, are you still interested in generating leads for your business? Or if you're a realtor, are you still interested in buying a home in 2018? Or are you still interested in selling your home in 2018? Or like whatever business you might be in, and then that goes through and you get an amazing response rate like with this. Like we did this last week or two weeks ago, I can't remember exactly when, but we saw about 10 to 15% of the people that we sent the emails to actually respond. So if you put that in perspective, if we were to send it to a thousand email addresses, we would have 100 to 150 responses from what we did. That's pretty amazing, right? Like, and that's all 100% free. That's just going through, taking your existing database, uploading that into a CRM, just like ArcelorMKG right here, blasting out the email. It's very quick, very easy to do. And so that is the first thing I would do. Now, the second thing I would do when you're marketing your small business is go through, take that same exact database, the exact list, because these people are more likely people that know, like, and trust you. So this is your warm market, right? And I would upload that into Facebook as a custom audience inside your ads manager. So let's just jump over here. I'm gonna show you guys exactly how to do this. What we're gonna do is come into the ads manager, up in the search bar, we're gonna click on audiences. So that's recently used, or you can just type in audiences right there. So we click on that, it pops us up, and we will say create an audience, okay? So we wanna create a custom audience. And then from here, we have that customer file, remember? We've got this right here of all the email addresses. And you can't upload phone numbers and all that stuff into Facebook as well, but we're just gonna say customer file. We'll say add customers from your own file or copy and paste data. Okay, so you can upload a file. This is actually, I downloaded the file template. That's what this is right here. Or you could just copy and paste 
all of the email addresses. So that, that's usually what I do just because it's nice and easy. So I'll just select all these email addresses, come back over here, and I will paste it right in there. You can see there's nine, like obviously, ideally you want to have maybe a few hundred, which if you've been in business for some time, I'm sure you've got a lot of different um, email addresses you can go through and throw in there or on any existing contact database or there's a way on LinkedIn you can export all of your contacts. You can export their names, their phone numbers, their email address and this is a great place to go through and upload that. Okay, so in here we'll just say audience name. Uh, we'll just say um, demo audience right there. We'll hit next and then we'll say upload and create. Okay, so this might give us an error. Oh, it actually worked because those were, I guess those are fa Facebook emails, but they're, um, I, I don't think they're actually real. So anyway, from here, we can go through and create an ad and with just a dollar a day, okay, spending $1 a day, so that's $30 for the month, $365 for the year, we can go through and get our ads in front of these people, okay, and we can get them in front of them on Facebook and on Instagram, okay, which is super powerful because those are two of the biggest social networks right now. And so for just a dollar a day to be able to get your message out in front of these people, that's absolutely huge, right? So we can go through, we can generate leads from that, we can send them to our blog or website, whatever business you might be in, you can send them to a video to watch and educate, nurture them, build more relationship, more value and all that stuff, ask for referrals, there's a number of things that we can do here, okay? So we're gonna hit done. And if you guys want the, um, I've got a free Facebook ads mini course. If you guys want to know how to go through and build the ads and, you know, set up the Facebook pixels, the tracking, all that good stuff, just comment down below and I will hook you guys up with that free Facebook ads mini course. And um, I'll also try to add it in the description as well for you guys because that walks you through step by step. I'm not going to cover this in this video just because I have so many other videos on that. So I want to focus more on what I would do on how to market my small business if I was starting completely from scratch, okay? So now we've gone through, we've imported that existing list into our CRM, okay? So we've gone through and started the conversations with email marketing. We've imported into Facebook, ad, the Facebook Ads Manager, and so now we can go through and send out our ads to these people with just $1 a day, okay? Targeting that, that custom specific group that's our warm market, okay? And that's on Facebook and Instagram. now. We also want to do it potentially on YouTube and potentially on Google. Okay, so all we got to do is come over here to AdWords. Then right here, I don't. You can see I don't do a ton of um, advertising right now on AdWords, but we just come up here to this um, this toolbar and we'll say Shared Library Audience Manager. Okay, so we click on that and we come over here. This is all of our audiences that we've got in place. We just click on this plus button right here, and you can see we want to click on Customer List because that is what we have. So we click on that and then we could give it a name. We say demo list, whatever it might be. It says, okay, some select the types of customer data you, that you're gonna be adding. And you could go through and choose what you wanna add. So I'm gonna say, I'm gonna upload the emails, phones, or mailing address. So we just leave it there as, it, as is. Okay, and then what we'll do is say, hey, we're gonna upload a plain text file of unhashed data. Okay, so we'll just hit choose file and we would choose this file right here, this example file right there. And just hit open and then you just need to click this just to say like you're good sharing the data with Google and you can go and say hey you want to want this data to expire after so many days but I just do no expiration and then we just hit upload and create the list okay so now then we've got our custom audience on Facebook which we can also use on Instagram as well we've got this on Google which we can use on the Google search engine and also on YouTube okay and same thing guys we can just spend like a dollar or two dollars per day so Depending on your budget, obviously the more you spend, the more you're gonna be out in front of these people. But if you have a pretty small audience, like let, let's say you have less than 5,000 people, you probably don't need to be spending more than a dollar a day on your advertising, okay? And it's just gonna go through and connect with this warm market of people you wanna be connecting with and is super valuable, right? So just really quick guys, as a recap, to today's training of what you want to do on the marketing your small business is go through get that existing database of past clients potential clients your LinkedIn network or whatever it is upload it to your CRM okay like we did send out that reactivation email of quick question are you still interested in blank okay that gets a huge high response rate super works amazingly well okay then take that same customer list upload it into Facebook into your ads manager 
and you can set up your Instagram ads. You can set up your Facebook ads for just a dollar a day. Then we're going to go through, upload it into Google, and we can set up YouTube ads. We can set up Google ads. Once again, just a dollar, just a couple dollars a day. We can go through and set this up as well. So let's say you're spending a dollar a day on Facebook, a dollar a day on Instagram, a dollar a day on YouTube, and or Google. Let's say even it's four dollars. That's hundred and twenty dollars for the month. Okay. Now, if you don't have the budget right now of hundred and twenty dollars for the month for advertising, you're not really in business. Like I, I hate to break it to you, but you really are not in business. And this is the best way to spend those hundred and twenty dollars for your business is by going through and marketing to this warm market to this existing database that they already know like and trust you you're gonna see your lowest cost per lead you're gonna see your highest engagement and it's just gonna help you grow your business to the best of your ability so anyway guys once again if you guys want that Facebook ads mini course go ahead comment down below if you found this video helpful give it a thumbs up and also if you guys are brand new here make sure you guys subscribe because we launch new videos every single week helping you generate more leads make more money and grow your business so thanks so much guys for watching and with that said I will see you all later